Oh my gosh, bro, you last logged in 112 days ago. That's crazy. I had no idea it's been that long since I logged into this account. I don't even know where it's going to be at. Oh, at least the Grand Exchange, okay. Hey, welcome to my uh, main account. You hear me talk about them all the time. People are always asking, well, let me see this big bad main account of yours. Well, here he freaking is, dude. He's really not that special. He's a nerd, just like everybody else. Uh, <laughs> the name, <laughs> oh, this is crazy. That's my old, old YouTube name. Also, let's turn some freaking music on. Hold on. I don't want to sit here in silence. Do you? There we go. Give me that grand exchange flute trombone. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, so this was my... This is this wasn't my first RuneScape account I ever created, but uh, I did have one from back back when I was in middle school, which I unfortunately lost access to. Um, if it ever gets out there into the ether, his name was Passion, but it was uh, spelled it was all spaced out. Well, it, 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 instead of an A, it was a four because I was an edge lord, and I actually didn't even make that account. I I I got that from a friend. I think a friend made it to me from in like middle school. So you can't ban me because this was years ago. And uh, I got the account Passion. It was it was my main account literally up until like I made this account, which I know obviously that means nothing to you. But it was years. Now, granted, I didn't play it that much, at least as much as I do now when I was younger. Um, but I did play it for years. And then I I made this account because I started over. You guys remember Necro Circus from like the he, the other guy that does the podcast with me. He's my cousin, and we do uh, we played RuneScape all the time. So we uh, probably. Around when I graduated college, I started getting really into RuneScape again. Um, my junior college, that is. My, uh, uh <coughs> my, you know, town college. I, uh, I started really getting into RuneScape because I had a lot of free time. Because I wasn't, uh, you know, because junior college is easy. And, uh, so I, I was making money. I was working part-time. I was like, you know what? I want to start playing some RuneScape again. So me and Necro Circus, or, uh, Andrew is his name. We started playing RuneScape again. So I made this account right here. And we would play all the freaking time, all throughout the night. We would call on the phone, because this was before Skype. Or not Skype, but, uh, Discord was really popping off. We would call on the phone, like, our cell phones. And we would just talk, and we would go through questing and stuff. Uh, w this was like, this was my best account I ever had. And I made him to be literally like, the like he has done everything I had dreamed of doing as a child, I've done on this account. As you can see, like Fire Cape. This was the first time I ever beat Jad. I don't think I have the, did they take my quest cape away? I have the quest cape. But they might have taken it away from me because I don't think I have Sins of the Father done. 275 quest points. Oh, actually, I think there's a new quest. Isn't there a quest on here I've missed, maybe? I don't know if they take it away from you before you have... See, there's Sins of the Father. Obviously, that's not even out yet. Nope, we've done everything except Majorina 2. Because I'll get to that in a second. I've told the story a few times. Let me get into my bank real quick here. Um, I don't have a pin. That's crazy. Don't pay too much attention to the value right now because it's pretty garbage. But I just want to get, uh, yes, this is what I want to get at right here. This was my pride and joy. Oh, I can't even wear it? Oh, because I'm not a member, obviously. Duh. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't have membership on this account. But I have the quest cape. You see it right there, okay? <laughs> I, can't, uh, I can't put it on, but it's right there. So I got the quest cape. First time I'd ever done that. And questing is my favorite part of this game. Uh, the the first time killing Jed, which I know getting a fire cape nowadays isn't that big of a deal. It's all about, you know, the inferno cape. I got a whip, although granted I bought it from the Grand Exchange. Uh, I, I played this account religiously. This was my life. Like, this was my pride and joy. And it's really nothing that special. When I show you the stats, you'll be like, oh, it's just a pretty... It's a little bit more than mid-level account, I would say. All this Zolra gear, I mean, I bought. I never got good at killing Zolra. I think I killed Zolra one time, and that was for uh, the Achievement Diary. So I didn't earn any of that. The Barrows equipment, all bought. I know uh, Barrows is easy. I know how to do Barrows. Like I didn't, but I didn't get any of these rewards from a chest. You know, the Grand Exchange ruined. It didn't ruin the game for me, obviously, but it spoiled me just horrendously so this was my baby I, this was my second main account quote unquote unfortunately i lost my account beforehand my childhood account it sucks i just logged into it one day and it said the password is wrong i couldn't get into it so i just assumed someone hacked it i tried to recover it it just didn't work out or maybe it got banned for for real world trading and i'm just assuming because i did in real world trade obviously that it got hacked and someone was using it as a uh, i don't know how 
because I've never even shown that account on screen. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So the account name down here that you see, X-O-D-I-N-I-A-A, -A, that was my YouTube account that uh, unfortunately got banned from YouTube. And I had nearly a thousand subscribers on that YouTube account, somewhere around there. And uh, that's what this account was based off of. I just made it my YouTube channel name. I actually started my old school RuneScape series with this account, which eventually transformed into the hardcore Iron Man series going on right now. So um, this was, you know, my baby. This was my main guy. But then I got to the point to where uh, you're wondering, well, why did you quit? Well, first off, I really wanted to make a hardcore Iron Man or just an Iron Man in general because I liked the idea so much of being able to earn your own, you know, stuff. So I really wanted to do that, but I didn't want to start over because I had done everything on this account you know i put so much into this account and i didn't want to do like all the garbage stuff again like mornings in part two i did not want to do that again uh monkey madness 2 i definitely didn't want to do that again that quest is literal just blech but uh you know i wanted the the new start so i was doing as you saw the last thing on here on this list i have everything else completed except for obviously sins of the father was mage arena 2 so I was in the middle of doing Mage Arena 2, probably for a video, because I did a lot of quest guides. I did every quest guide, actually, on this account. Every quest, I did a quest guide for. It's just on my old account that has unfortunately been banned from YouTube. But that's a story. If you don't, if you want that whole story, check out my uh, intro video on my channel. Anyway, um, so I was in the middle of doing Mage Arena 2, and I think I got PK'd, or I died, or something. I don't know. But I ended up losing my full Elite Void. Uh, I lost it all. Here are, see, I have all the hard achievement diaries completed. Obviously, none of the elites because the elites are insane. But I do have all of the hard achievement diaries. I had the elite void and I lost it all. And if you're in a certain level in the wilderness, you lose it and you don't get it back no matter what. So I uh, quit. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing pest control again. I hated pest control. I was not doing it again. I was like, I'm done playing. And I know that's like a very childish excuse because it's not that big a deal. But I was just like, I just, I don't, I don't, I, I lost my account, my RuneScape account, so I was like, I'm already, or my, not my RuneScape account, sorry, my YouTube account, so I was already down, I was like, there's no point for you to keep playing this, so then I started my Hardcore Iron Man. I'm sorry, I, I hadn't lost it yet, but I was on like, you know, I was just tired of this in general, because there wasn't much more I could do, in, in my eyes at least, I guess, I know that doesn't really whatever anyway so i started my hardcore iron man because i didn't want to do pass control again <laughs> and i've been having so much fun with my hardcore iron man but it is now essentially better than my main account now obviously there's some gear differences like a fury i don't have a fury um i don't have a whip yet but I, and i don't have a fire cape I, I honestly i don't have any of this gear but stat wise i mean i could get it I would just need to grind it out for it, I guess. Now, I don't quite have the, what is it, like 80 whatever Slayer you need for a whip. But everything else, I could get. I mean, I could go fight Zolra and get a Serpentine Helmet. I just don't have one. I could probably go do the fight caves and get the fire cape. I just haven't. But uh, here are the, I don't think there's, I mean, obviously I have all the favor done. Is there anything else I can look at? Serpentine Helmet, I, I, fire cape. That's the blessing. Oh, I got a warrior's ring i'm sure i bought that because i've never fought the dagonoth kings ever um yeah so there's all that so here's the stats i'm 100 combat so i mean i'm only 90 combat i'm a hardcore iron man but that's only 10 levels and i mean that's not that it's not that much really so here are the stats bada boom um, oh all this it's 1754 total level my hardcore iron man is 1650 i think so it's only a hundred levels below my main account. I never thought I would be able to get my hardcore Iron Man to that, you know, length of a just. So I have 75 attack on my hardcore Iron Man, so I only have a few more attack levels. I've got a 10 more strength and uh, I think eight more defense levels there. That's the big difference right here. I only have 60 range on my hardcore Iron Man. I need to train that a bunch, um, but th I have 80 there. 70 prayer. That's a that's a big one. I'm trying to find stats that are better on my hardcore Iron Man, but so far, <laughs> uh, I have 72 magic on my hardcore Iron Man, 57, so that's a big one. Okay, here's one that I have better. I have almost, I pretty much, by the time this video comes out, I'll probably have 80 Hunter. I only have 70 on here, and that's just all from birdhouses. 75 Slayer, that's nice. Uh, okay, here's our huge one. On my hardcore Iron Man, I have 93 Thieving. Um, I have 70 Herb Lore. I have 70 agility. That's better. I have, okay, here's one that's barely, but I have 84 fishing on my hardcore Iron Man, so a little bit better there. 
Um, here's another big one. I have 94 fire making on the hardcore Iron Man, not 81. And okay, that's that one's got me. I only have 75 wood cutting, but and I had I just got 93 farming, so that's a few stats. So I mean, for a difference of a normal account that has the grand exchange and like the literal infinite like possibilities at your fingertips, no fear of death. Only being a hundred total levels higher, and I mean, obviously, I bought all this gear. I bought my whip because I don't have, you know, the Slayer level required. I bought the uh, all the Barrows gear, all of the. Let's take a look at the bank. It's not much because I liquidated pretty much everything I had to make uh, bonds for my Hardcore Iron Man at the time because I still had membership on this account, but I wanted to. Uh, obviously, I was never gonna really play on it again, and that's the other thing. I'm very much aware that at some point I'm very likely to lose my hardcore Iron Man status because I'm not very good at this game. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that. Uh, and it's going to be whenever I try something remotely dangerous at all, like Zolra, I'll probably lose it. But even so, that account will still be an Iron Man and therefore will still be better than this account. So there's really no reason to even worry about this account unless there's something very dangerous that comes out and I'm still a hardcore Iron Man that I want to try. Like, obviously the new quest, I can do that on my hardcore Iron Man, so I'm not that worried about it. Also, it's good to have a scout for some dangerous things, like wilderness and related uh, things like that. Like, if I want to, like for the uh, that mini quest, I think Curse of the Empty Lord, if I have my main account run out there to the lava maze to check, to make sure there's not a bunch, like a gang of PKers around, I can do that. I don't have a bunch of friends that can help me do that. I have Necro, but he doesn't play the game very much anymore, so getting him on here is a task and a half in itself. So I could use this account to, like, you know, potentially distract or get in there and let my hardcore Iron Man do the quick little tasks I need in there, or to run out to the mage arena because that's not that dangerous. So some things like that can be beneficial. Obviously, he's not a member. Um, I would have to buy membership if I wanted to do anything crazy like that, like even if it was just like a month. Is it worth spending 8 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever to keep my hardcore Iron Man status? Maybe? I don't know. So here's my bank. It's uh, obviously like way less than my, um, ma my hardcore Iron Man's bank, but I don't know if it's counting membership items because of the fact that I think it might be. Oh man, the freaking diary set looks so good when it's past the medium. Um... I don't know if it's counting the membership objects or not because I'm not a member. It might be. It looks like it, it might be. Um, but here it is. This is my main tab. Similar setup to my hardcore Iron Man. Um, only a 432 cash stack. I actually have more cash on my hardcore. But that's just because, like I said, I, I liquidated my whole bank a long time ago to buy bonds for my hardcore Iron Man. So that's why um, there's, there's my rune pouch. I'm pretty sure I bought that. It wasn't there like a time where you could just buy it from the Slayer Master when Bounty Hunter was all screwy. I got a Bone Crusher. That's pretty cool. I do wish I had a Bone Crusher. I think those are the crystal things from uh, what is it? The Song of the Elves place? Prif, Prif, Did, Prif, Did, 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 I think that's what that's from. Why don't I have a Dragon Pickaxe? I guess I just never had the cash to buy one. Some runes and teleportation scrolls. This is the uh, this is the one thing I don't have in my hardcore army because it's a reward from Monkey Madness 2. The the teleport seed pod thing to uh, the Gnome Stronghold. Some rant. See, this is this was what I'm talking about. I had 91 farming on here, but I have better farming on my hardcore Iron Man, and this was with buying all of the best seeds and trees I could at any time, whenever I wanted to. I'm pretty sure I probably bought the co the bottomless compost bucket. I earned that on my hardcore. Just such a different, fun feeling. Um, 63 prayer potions. I have 200 on my hardcore. Uh, I do have some Sarah brews and some restore potions, but you know, I bought those. What do we got in here? There's my whip, obviously, that I have. My volcanic whip. Uh, I bought a flail, apparently. I, I did buy... I, bu I bought both of these, guaranteed, because I, I guarantee if I look right now, I only have one Zora kill. Uh, the blowpipe and the, the trident. There's arc light, of course. The leaf bladed battle axe. What is any of this stuff? I don't know. Oh, crystal bow, of course. This is just like a bunch of, like... I mean, this is so, like, nothing compared... Here's my armor tab. See, here, look, here's my full void that's that's not there because <laughs> I lost it. I did have full prospector, and something I'm really jealous of is I have full changed color graceful. I wish I had that on my hardcore because I love the way it looks. Although I hated this color that I got, this yellow golden color. I regretted it, like, immediately, but I didn't have any more marks of grace to spend. Um, This is the hard tier of the, the achievement diary gear, which looks so good. Oh, I wish I had the 
hard tier. I'm close. On my hardcore, I'm close to being able to finish up the hard, uh, a lot of the hard sets. Um, obviously, I have full blessed Dragonhide. That's pretty hard to get on a, a Iron Man because of the requirements for just the randomness for clue scrolls. And this is my ghostly rose, which I would do if I could do the quest, but I don't want to go to the wilderness. We've been over that. And then obviously my quest cape, which is something I'm very proud of. Although I know it's not that big of a deal compared to like a 99 skill. Um, full Arams and Varric, which I most certainly bought. Same with the Serp Helm and Darox. So there's that. Uh, besides the quest cape and my fire cape, those are basically my two biggest achievements on here. Not that a fire cape or a quest cape is a big deal. <laughs> uh, I guarantee you I bought this bounty hunter hat. I think there was a time, I think when the bounty hunter thing was all wonky, you could purchase these things with real money. Not real money, but like, you know, in-game money. Not just like bounty hunter points. And then this is my quest tab. I don't know what the hell that is. Why do I have nettles? <laughs> There's my salve amulet. So, this is my main account, which, I mean, technically, technically, yes. I did not, maybe I clickbaited you a little bit. It's not technically better than my Hardcore Iron Man, but it might as well be. The bank, in general, is a million times better. Uh, besides a few stats here and there, it's not much better. It's literally only a hundred total level better. Uh, and, that's, and that's mostly combat related. Which is, you know, fairly easy to train. Like, the biggest difference is, like, my range level here. Um, so, this is a little look into my main account. I'm not going to get rid of it because, like I said, it would be good to have for scouting purposes. And I don't think that's against game rules because people do it all the time. I watched Mammal take a whole freaking clan out there of his goons while he did Mage Arena 2. So, I don't want to hear it. But, uh, yeah, this is my main account that I always talk about. Um... He's real, <laughs> and he probably couldn't beat your main up, but I was proud of him at the time. Obviously now, after playing my hardcore for like two years-ish now, this is uh, very not impressive to me because I've done almost all of this without the grand exchange, without other people, without anything, without dying. You don't know have many times I've died on this account? Now granted, I've done, how do I, can I look at boss kills? Hold on. Let me see if I do like KC. Let's go away from other people so they don't judge me for my <laughs> my tiny boy uh, kill streaks. Let's go like over here by the, the freaking no the fountain. Let's do KC. Can you do KC as a non-member? Surely you can. Zolra. What do we got? One. See one. And that was for the hard diary. And I I still do not know how to fight Zolra. I'm so bad at. It. Let's do barrows. I have so many barrows pieces. I've never gotten one. Let's see how many I've actually. Ten barrows chests. <laughs> And, uh, what else is there? Oh, Hespori. I just got, uh, 40 Hespori kills on my, uh, hardcore Iron Man. Let's see what we got. 30! I have more kills on my hardcore! I'm so garbage. I've never done anything else, I guarantee you. I'm trying to think. Oh, I did do a bunch of Zalcano when it first released. Is that- Oh, I didn't do KC. Whoops, hold on. KC Zalcano. Boo. Yeah. 59. And I don't even know if that's a lot or not anymore, but, uh, I did do a bunch of Zalcano. Because I, I do I love Song of the Elves so much. I That was like the last... Well, no, I did do the Fermic Exiles. I did a quest guide over that. But that was like the last thing I did with Song of the Elves in this account. And it was so much fun. I love that quest. I can't wait to do it on my hardcore. But uh, yeah, so this is my main account. It's... uh, it, I mean, there's nothing special, really. It's very pay to... Uh, not pay to win, but... It's very mom's credit card. I didn't earn any of this gear. Just all from the Grand Exchange. So, my hardcore will be much better than this account very soon. Here's one last look at the statistics if you're curious. I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this little fun little look back into the past. Um, I couldn't tell you how much time I put into this account. As you saw in the beginning, I hadn't played it for 100 some days. But uh, he's still here. I just don't want to buy membership on him for no reason. But if, uh, if it comes to it, I might for potential content or protection. If I need to beat up a bully, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, just stay safe out there and stay beautiful, guys. And see you very soon in something probably hardcore Iron Man related. <laughs> Bye.